Hello, boys and girls. Have you ever been to a school carnival before? Ha. Can you give me some words to describe what you can see at a school carnival? Let's list some words that we can use to describe a school carnival. Now, draw a circle map on your paper. I have one word. Crowded. Let's look at the picture of a scene at a carnival. Sometimes, you use words to describe how a person feels too. One example is the word excited. Now, we have two words on the screen here. Let's try to have at least eight words that we can use to describe feelings or places at a carnival based on this picture. Just write as many words you can think of to describe places and feelings that you can find at a school carnival. Let's look at my circle map. Now, I have more words. Do you have different words? Ha! Great! That's the whole idea of doing this exercise. Copy the words that are new to you from my circle map. Now, look at how many new words do you have on your circle map. Nice, wonderful. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Understand what is an adjective. 2. Use comparative and superlative adjective. And 3. Use adjective correctly in text. Now, Let's watch this video together. Hi. Good afternoon, Gina. What are you doing? Oh, hello, Aina. I'm actually collecting items for the donation box. It's one of our ways to raise funds for the school carnival. Wow, that's really nice of you. Can I help you? I'm very good at organizing items. I always help my mom at the hope shop, especially with Dex clothes. He always meets it up and he causes so much chaos when he looks for things. That is great. Two heads are better than one. Thank you for your offer to help. I really appreciate it. Sure. Let me see what I can do here. There are six boxes here. Where do you want me to move these boxes? You can put all the accessories like earrings and bracelets, while the other two boxes can be used to put clothes. You can use the box in the corner over there for toys. But I need to sort the plush toys into the color-coded boxes. Can you help me with that? Sure, I can help you with that. Aina, you are such an amazing friend. You can help me to separate the brown colored teddy bear from the other toys since we have many plush toys now. Sure, I'll do that now. Let's look at the screen. Here's to recap what I just said. 
An adjective is a word that is used to describe nouns. We know what nouns are. Nouns can be people, things, and places. While adjective give qualities to nouns. There are several types of adjective. I would like to introduce two general categories in adjective. They are the positive and negative adjectives. You usually use a positive or a negative adjective to describe your feelings about that specific person or a place, thing, or idea. Without these describing words, it will be very difficult for you to express how you feel. Now, let's learn more about these describing words. Positive adjectives. Positive adjectives actually used to describe people, places, and things in positive way. This adjective allow you to express emotions such as satisfaction, love, amusement, hope, and other emotions that can bring positivity in you. So, here are some examples. Arthur is jovial today. His wise words fired up the crowd. Greg is always cooperative with his teammates. Now, boys and girls, let us look at this sentence. She is very competitive during the tournament. Can all of you tell me the positive adjective here? When you use positive adjectives, you can express emotions such as satisfaction, love, amusement, hope, and other emotions that can bring positivity in you. Here are the three sentences that use good emotional words. Let's see if you can find the words. You are a spectacular leader. Look at your excellent exam result. That outfit looks beautiful on you. Yes, you're very clever. The answers are spectacular, excellent, and beautiful. Now, how do these sentences make you feel? Mm, people enjoy hearing words of encouragement. Well, I would like that too, wouldn't you? All right, let's learn the opposite of positive adjective the negative adjective. Basically, we use negative 
adjective during unpleasant, unhappy situations or emotions. You can form negative adjectives by adding prefixes such as this, an, and im. Let's look at the examples below. She is loyal to her company. Positive. She is disloyal to the company. Negative. Here are some exercises for you to practice. Tell me which sentence uses the positive and which sentence uses the negative adjective. Write P or N at the end of each sentence. Write P if the sentence uses a positive adjective and write N if the sentence uses negative adjectives. Boys and girls, are you ready? Here we go. Ali is happy at work today. Ali is unhappy at work today. Next one. The task is possible to be done on time. The task is impossible to be done on time. That's a really easy exercise, right? Your answers should be this. Look at the screen to check your answers. Next, we're going to learn about the comparative and the superlative adjective. The first one, comparative. Adjectives are used when we need to compare two nouns. We add ER to an adjective word and add the word then after the word to form a comparative adjective. See now, in English language, there are also instances when you cannot add ER and add the word then to an adjective when comparing two nouns. In this example, we add ER to the word short. After the word short, we write the word then, so our comparative adjective is shorter than. Ha! Let's use the word beautiful. Yes, you are right. It is a positive adjective. Now, when we form a comparative adjective with this word, but you need to use the word more before the word beautiful and add the word then after that. Bear in mind, you cannot write beautifuler then. Remember, not beautifuler then. That will be wrong. Here are examples. Let's 
read them together. This book is lighter than that one. The Russian model is prettier than the American model. Today is hotter than yesterday. The blonde model looks more elegant than the curly haired model. Here is a rule of thumb for you to remember. We do not add ER to an adjective word with two or more syllables to form a comparative adjective. Now, a syllable refers to a sound. The word good only has one syllable, but the word better has two sounds, bat and ter, two sounds. The word beautiful has three syllables. Do you know what they are? Brilliant, bu, ti, and full. We do not add ER to adjective words with two or more syllables. Remember that. Instead, we add the word more before the adjective and add the word then after the adjective. Let's do this exercise. Can you form comparative adjective from these words? Word number one, modern. Two, comfortable. Three, important. Four, elegant. Five, dangerous. Six, light. Seven, hard. Now, check your answers with your friends. Don't forget to use the rule that we have just learned. All right, now let's learn about superlative adjectives. Do you notice the word super just now? If you think of superlative adjectives, Try to think of something super or superior. Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object, which at the most, upper or lower limit of a quality like the prettiest or uh, the saddest and the most dangerous. Superlative adjectives are used to describe and compare at least three subjects. You need to add the word the in front of the adjective and the suffix est to the adjective. Right. I'm holding three books. Tell me which one is the thickest book of all three. Aha, yes, you're right. A is the thickest book. All right, let us guess again who is taller. Is it Ravind? or Harris? Yes, you're right. Harris is taller than Ravind. Now, look at the screen. There are three boys. Who is the tallest among the three boys? 
although Harris is taller than Raven, Alvin is the tallest among them. Some adjectives will change their forms when used to compare two or more objects. Let's find out more. The words are good, many, little and far. Look at the table on the screen. These words are unique. You cannot say more further than. That would be wrong. The word good changes to better in its comparative form and the best in its superlative form. You no longer find original adjective word which was the word good. All right, now that we have learned about comparative and superlative adjectives, let's do some exercise, shall we? Complete the table below with the correct forms of the adjectives. Some words are given in the table. Fill the empty cells with the correct answers. I will give you some time to copy the words, so don't worry. Alright boys and girls, are you ready to check your answers? Now, let's all look at the screen. I have one more exercise for you to practice with adjective today before we end our lesson. Can you complete these sentences by filling in the blanks with the correct forms of adjectives? We will check the answers in a short while. Exercise. The bunting hung at the school gate is, fill in the blank, small than the one hanging in the school compound. Second one, fill in the blank, many volunteers offered themselves to be at the game station than the blood donation station. Next one. At the beauty pageant contest, the fill in the blank tall girl won the most fill in the blank expensive prize. The fill in the blank Tall boy among the two male contestants at the PUBG station won the fill in the blank expensive hamper. The biggest hamper was given to the fill in the blank hardworking teacher in the school. Did you manage to get all the answers? Let us check together. A. Smaller B. More 
Si, tallest and expensive. D, thinnest, most expensive. E, most hardworking. I really hope you have enjoyed learning today. Can you recall some of the important tips in this lesson? Here, let me help you. Remember, when the adjective has more than two syllables, the combination of the words more than is used in its comparative form while the most are added in front of the adjective to form its superlative form. There are some irregular adjectives that change their spelling altogether in the English language. Like good, bad, and far, just to name a few. So boys and girls, that's all for now. Remember to read more and do more practice. Ha. Good luck and bye everyone!